So Jeff just told me he saw something. I'm going to go check it out. This is the first one we've seen all season. Actually, this is the first one I've seen, period, on the property. You see the black thing? A black thing. The head is right at the other end of the... Oh, I see, the see head? it. I think the rest of it's under the box. I wonder what kind it is. Uh, I looked. It's not a rattler, so... <laughs> Um, good. it's probably looking for a mouse. I'm sure Yeah, this is the first one that I have seen here. I'm gonna move the box. He's gonna... Oh no, he's moving out. You don't have to move the box. I know, but you'll be able to see the whole size of it. I'm sure. It's slowly coming out. Are you sure it's not a rattler? No. No, that's some kind... What is that? No. Yeah, I don't wanna... Make it feel like it's cornered. I think it's coming into the... Um... Into the laundry... Oh no, it's not. It's just curling up. It's trying to find a way out. I don't want it to seem cornered. No, I mean, it's fine. It's yeah. Not... Wow, first one we've seen this season. It's a pretty long one. There it goes. going to try to go in the boxes, I guess. Well, yeah, I moved all the cardboard. That's probably what disturbed it. Oh. That was probably under the cardboard. Yeah, we've got to be careful. It's weird. It's getting close to fall. Yeah. And it's not been very warm, so you wouldn't think, but... Yeah, stocking up for the winter. Yeah. Get those pack rats and mice. <laughs> he's coming back this way. Yeah. I think he's trying to get out, so... So we definitely don't want to be in our bare feet over here. No. Wow, that is crazy. Actually, it is the Arizona desert, so it's not as crazy as you'd think it would. We are in higher elevation at 6,000 feet. So that's why I think we haven't seen many of them. I don't know if that's the case. Um, but yeah, I mean, the first one that I have seen on the property since we moved here in what was it 2020 up oh, he went crawling underneath the oh is he there it's probably under that last one well, that one could have gone into straw already oh could have no they usually like hiding under stuff so well he was trying to sun i think oh was he because he was out here he's putting the head in the sun that's arrested for a while huh yeah, that's probably the one that he's under. Oh no, there's two more boxes. Yeah, probably under that last one. <laughs> if he's not gone already. Oh. Huh, he's gone. Lift it, move the whole thing. Yeah, he disappeared. He's like, I'm out. It does seem kind of sketched out and afraid. It's just kind of trying to avoid us. I just wanted to catch it on film, but it'll probably just stay away from us. Um, the reason why Jeff had noticed it is because he's trying to put a cover over the top of the laundry room because there's a seam in the middle and it wants to leak into the laundry room, which is not good. So he's putting a tarp up there until we can get the roofing material, which I'm going to go pick up the next time I'm in town so we can get that covered up. But yeah, um, 
I think uh, leaving the cardboard out for the snake to hide under is definitely not a good thing. We're trying to get it completely chipped up because we put it in the wood chipper and we use it in our compost. But I'm going to have to start storing the boxes somewhere else because definitely don't want to give places for mice, rats, or even snakes to hide. Figures, today is one of the first sunny, beautiful days here on the property. It's been raining a lot. We've been getting sun earlier in the day, but then usually about 2 o'clock, and it's not too yet, so it still might rain. Uh, the clouds come in, and then it starts to rain. But I am going to let everybody know on the property that there is a snake, just because people own dogs, and I don't want a dog to get hurt. That would be awful. Right, Memo? You don't want any of your friends to get hurt. No, no, no. And that goes for people as well. I don't want any of my friends to get hurt or bit by a snake. I don't think it's poisonous. I think it's some kind of rat snake. I'm actually going to go look it up now. Jeff is finishing up the roof there. We're just putting a tarp on it for now just to get it covered. And then, like I said, I pick up um, material. Be careful that you don't step on any snakes. All right, there he is. He slipped underneath. The place that I don't like. Yep, there he is. He went to the place that I don't want any snakes. Is underneath this thing. That's why I want to make that lip bigger and dig it down. I don't think it's poisonous, but I'm not sure what kind it is. It just went back under there. I was searching on Google and I was looking up snakes in my area. And one picture popped up, it looks just like it. It's a rat snake, and that's exactly what I thought it would be. But it's good to know for sure, I'm glad it's not a rattler. The rat snake's good. Eat those mice and rats. It's probably still hiding under there. Hey y'all! Hey. Just wanted to let you know over here by the compost, or um, in the laundry room, there was a snake. It's like three foot. That's a pretty good size one. Yeah, so be careful with jet and stuff. I think, I looked it up and I believe it's a rat snake. A rat snake? Yeah. They eat rats? Yeah, I think so. I think that's why they'd call it rat snake. That would make sense. But I, I'm glad that they don't have, uh, it's not a rattler. Yeah, and we don't want a rattler. No, definitely don't want a rattler here. <laughs> All right. You. You're welcome. Well, I'd have to say for our first snake experience on the property, that was pretty mild. I'm glad we just got to see it and no one or no pets or animals were hurt. It's definitely a plus. We're trying to get a lot of projects done because September will be here and I'll have a lot of friends coming. So clean up, clean up, get things together. But the property is looking good. I'm definitely excited to see my friends coming up in September when they come here for my birthday party. Yay! Another year. Ugh. Yeah, he disturbed it by moving the cardboard boxes. It was like, hey! <laughs> yeah. So it, it, um, and then we tried to move the cardboard again just to see, and then it, it went underneath the, into the laundry room, so. Okay. Yay! I should have just left it under the cardboard. Well, you have to move the cardboard. Yeah. yeah. Just to let you know, there's like... Uh, but yeah, we don't want to hurt it because it's probably good for the environment. Yeah. I want to thank y'all for checking out the video. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, the button is down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mwah.